let's go. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ford F350 King Ranch. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford for giving me some time with this King Ranch F350. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. Now under the hood of this F350 King Ranch, we have the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 475 horsepower and then 1,050 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the King Ranch. So first off, there's no changes on the hood of the King Ranch, and then you still get the full LED lights with the LED accent lights that go around them. For some reason they popped off, but you guys know what they look like. And then you get the fog lights down below with the tow hooks. Notice that everything on the front end is finished in chrome. That is part of the King Ranch package is to have everything in chrome. And then you still get the little air dam there on the bottom. But other than that, there's your front end on the King Ranch. Now coming around the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well on the King Ranch. Now this particular truck does have the FX4 package. So notice just how aggressive the tires are. These are definitely a lot better for like off-roading and then these are gonna do great in like the snow and all that kind of stuff. And then again, you get these giant chrome wheels, another part of the King Ranch package. And here's kind of like a quick look at what we can see of the front suspension with the King Ranch. And then notice you've got little King Ranch plaque right there at the F350 logo. Got the 6.7 liter power stroke badge. And then with the mirrors, again, they've got the chrome there on the top portion, chrome door handles. And then here is your full side view of the King Ranch. Now let's go over the bed of the King Ranch. So first off, you can see that we do have a bed liner, which is gonna protect everything. And we do have LED bed lights here in the back. And then there are the little brackets there for the cargo tie down hooks. The payload capacity on this truck is about 3,400 pounds. It is a six and a half foot bed. And other than that, there's your bed of the King Ranch. Let's finish the rest of the rear of the King Ranch. So first off, we've got these full LED lights here in the back of the truck. And then you've got the King Ranch plaque right there with the Super Duty logo just down below. Parking sensors all along here. And then we've got a chrome bumper. You've got the gigantic exhaust tips right there on the side. And then the FX4 stickers. Towing capacity in the truck is right around 20,000 pounds with the F350 and the diesel. And well, that's all for the rear. Now here's the door panel on the back of the King Ranch. So the first thing you'll notice is you have this beautiful wood trim here on this little portion of the door and then you get soft touch, we're gonna rest your arm. And then we've got the leather seats here in the back. You've got the little King Ranch logo right there and then you've got the black insert here on the center portion of the seat. The seats definitely feel and look really nice. And then picking them up, Got some extra storage space just underneath. Rubber floor mats all across. And let's pop in. So this does have the automated side steps, which pop out, which make getting in really easy. Now, if I sit all the way up, I'm 5'11". I've got a decent amount of headroom. And then legroom is pretty solid as well. Coming over here, we've got a little 12 volts and power outlets. And then we do have some heated seat controls, cup holders, but we got more cup holders because you can never have enough drinks here in the back. And that's the back of the King Ranch. Let's go over the door panel here on the front of the King Ranch. So again, you've got the really nice soft touch leather here on the door where you're gonna rest your arm and just look at that, just feels really nice. We've got the wood trim right next to it. Again, looks really good. And then we've got all of your window controls. You've got your mirror adjustments right here. And then the mirrors do power fold in and then they also do have the extension function on them. And they've got blind spot monitoring. We've got our door lock and unlock here and then the memory seat function and then the King Ranch logo there again. And then here are the seats at the front. So again, beautiful leather, got the King Ranch logo right here. You've got nice perforations on the center with the kind of black leather stripe there. And yeah, just look at that. Like hopefully this comes through on the camera, just like how soft these seats are. You've got your adjustments there on the side of the seat. And then we got the pedal layout just down below. And then over here, we've got some controls. So you got your parking brake. That is for the tailgate, your pedal adjustment, light controls just up above. These are the little lights that are on either side of the mirror. The steering wheel is automatically adjustable. And there's one more look before we pop in. Now here's the steering wheel in the King Ranch. So you've got this really nice kind of like dark brown leather with the lighter brown stitching on the inside. You've got the volume controls right over here with your voice command and phone controls. The adaptive cruise controls on the other side and then you do have the controls there for the center screen. And then you do have the turn signal stock slash windshield wiper stock right there. And then we do have the column shifter as well. So you've got the drive mode select and then you can manually shift the gears yourself if you'd like with it and then just functions like any other column shifter. 
but that is the steering wheel. We've got the gauge cluster here at the center. So you've got RPMs on the left side, on the right side, you've got the speed, and then you do have a couple different menus you can scroll through here on the center stack. I do think the off-road thing's pretty cool. This does have off-roading tires, so maybe someone will take this off-road. And then you've got like your pre-collision, your lane keeping assist, all the safety tech on that little side. And then you can even check your towing information if you have a trailer on this one. Obviously it doesn't have a trailer connected to it, but it's pretty cool, just all little screens you can scroll through there on the center portion. Now here's the center infotainment system. First off, above the infotainment system, we've got the button for the diesel exhaust brake. You've got your stability control and then the hazard lights with the hill descent control and then the lane departure assistance. And then this is for the camera system. So you can see there's a bird's eye view and then you have this out the front when you press that on. But as you can see, there's a little tab right here. So you can see that there's more views with the camera system. You got like that full view right there out the front. And then this does come with a cargo camera, which is a nice little feature in the center line. And then you can add auxiliary cameras. And then the last camera is the backup camera, which you can zoom in with the receiver hitch when you are hooking up to a trailer. So from a camera system perspective, truck's really solid. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, the infotainment system is just like all of Ford's other infotainment systems. So response time on it is pretty decent. But my favorite part about the King Ranch is the fact that you've got all of your adjustments and we've got the massage function. Like I couldn't ask for more in life. Now just down below all of that, we've got a bunch of controls here in this area. So we've got the power outlets under that little tab, and then you've got your volume controls and your presets for the radio. Climb controls just down below, and then this does come with heated and ventilated seats, and then also heated steering wheel. The heated steering wheel you do have to turn on and off from the infotainment system. And then we've got our drive line select over here. So you've got your two-wheel high, your four-wheel high, your four-wheel low, and then your locker for the rear. Trailer brake controls integrated just down below, and then we do have our trailer backup system. And then more of this beautiful wood trim right here just feels and looks really nice. Covers the wireless phone charger and some usbs and all that kind of stuff so boom that's all for that now over here we've got some extra storage space couple cup holders then we've got the center console again with a little king ranch logo and then picking up the center console lid tons of storage space in there and the leather on it's just really nice so again kind of makes this feel more premium we've got the glove box which normal ford glove box nothing crazy there but notice they did the leather and the stitching there on the dash as well so kind of like the really dark brown with the lighter brown stitching and then if we finish things up here at the top of the king ranch we do have a power sliding window pretty normal full panoramic sunroof we've got all of our auxiliary switches here with the truck as well which is another nice little feature sunglass holder and then all the controls for the center for just up there in that area now that we're done going to the interior on this King Ranch, let's get into the pricing. So in terms of pricing, this particular King Ranch stickers for about $92,000 for any type of market adjustment. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, whoa, hold up a second. That seems way too expensive. This truck does have some accessories added to it. So this truck has airbags added to it. The bed liner was another option added after the fact. And then the wheels and tires are actually also aftermarket. I should have known that, but I'm not exactly the smartest guy in the room. So I kind of messed up on that portion. So those are also aftermarket. And then this truck is um, getting Getting a shell built out for it so that'll also be another thing on this truck so all those options are what kind of bumps up the price that being said though let's take this king ranch out and see how it drives Well, let's quickly talk about visibility before we set off here in the King Ranch. So first off, visibility over the hood, just like any other heavy duty truck. It takes a second to get used to if you're not used to driving a truck, but if you're used to driving a truck, it's not bad at all. And then there's your visibility through both the mirrors. They're absolutely massive. They show everything. They also have blind spot monitoring. So not a problem whatsoever with that. And then here's all throughout the rest of the rear. So as you can see, visibility in the truck is not a problem whatsoever. And that all being said, well, let's set off we are setting off here in this f-350 king ranch and first off let's talk about the road noise and the ride quality so i just drove a ford tremor before this so that actually pre be pretty good to be able to compare this to the tremor so from a ride quality perspective i can't really perceive a difference between both the trucks they pretty much ride about the same but the biggest difference is the tire noise there's a lot less tire noise here with this f-350 king ranch compared to the tremor so definitely a big difference um with that Jeez, so much torque I, sometimes i i daily drive a ford raptor and I have like less than half as much torque with that truck than this. And so sometimes I just forget how much torque this truck has. I'm not used to the uh, pedal modulation. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, getting up and going with the handling, 
I mean, it's just like any other heavy duty truck. It is a bigger size vehicle, but you definitely get used to it. Yeah, that low end torque is so good. Like you just barely have to press into the throttle and it just gets up and moves. If you guys are wondering why I'm driving extremely slow, it is because I'm gonna create some space here with this person before we get our full blown acceleration. And let's go. Jeez, leave people in the dust. So much torque. It is, you just live on the torque. Like it is just absolutely monstrous from a torque perspective. And the thing about the brakes that's interesting is you barely push on the brake pedal and it doesn't do a whole lot, um, but you still get some braking power. But then you kind of like hit, and I mentioned this in my Tremor review, you kind of like hit this wall. And then once you hit that, then it brakes really, really hard. It's almost like there's like two different actuations on the brake pedal. Definitely interesting, definitely takes some time to get used to. But I mean, no complaints there, right? You still get the braking power you need with this truck. On the highway, I mean, it's pretty quiet. There's not a whole lot of tire noise. There's not really any wind noise. Um, I mean, it's just, it's like a quiet, nice insulated cabin. Um, so like no complaints there from a highway perspective. Yeah, the brakes, it's such a weird feeling. Like it, it always takes me a second to get used to it. Like going from my Raptor to driving these heavy duty trucks, every single time I do it, I always have to kind of uh, get myself used to the brakes. Yeah, right here, this part of the road kind of like bumps all over the place and the truck really doesn't get uh, all that upset or anything like that. Um, but I'll, I'll be back to you guys in a second. I gotta kind of wait for this uh, traffic. We are out of the traffic and we are back and well, let's actually get into summing things up here with this King Ranch package. So from an exterior appearance perspective, I think it's a pretty good looking truck, just kind of like your uh, like luxury look on the exterior. And I also did forget to mention, this truck also comes with a leveling kit. I, I probably should have mentioned that like at the beginning of the re review, but like, guys, it, it's me we're talking about. So like, let's be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm slacking lately. But yes, it also does have a leveling kit. Um, so I think with the tires and the leveling kit and all the stuff and the wheels, I think it's a good looking truck from the outside. The inside, this is actually my favorite part. So like, even though the wood kind of reminds me of like, it, it's like, it's kind of like, I, I'd make jokes about this all the time, but like, it's kind of like old man wood is the best way for me to describe it. Like, I just imagine seeing this wood in like an old dude's like luxury mansion. Like that's, that's kind of where I see this wood. It's kind of like that old school looking stuff, but I still like it. I still think it looks good. Definitely makes this feel a lot more premium, a lot more like luxury-esque. Um, from just the interior perspective. The seats are fantastic. They have the massaging function. The leather looks and feels and smells really nice. Sadly, you guys can't smell through the camera. Um, but yeah, the interior on this truck, I actually think it's really nice. I actually prefer the Western themes now. Before, I used to be like all about the blacked out everything, but now that I've gotten a little bit older, again, I'm only 23, I'm still pretty young, but now that I've gotten a little bit older, I kind of like contrast more. I like having something that's a little bit different. And so like, if I was buying a luxury truck, I would probably buy the King Ranch over the Platinum, even though brown isn't necessarily my favorite color, I would rather have this nice contrasted brown to black interior than just having straight blacked out interior that you have in the Platinum. And so, yeah, that's kind of where this King Ranch stands. It's a nice luxury truck with the Western theme. It drives great, crazy fast with the power stroke. And well, if you're in the market for a heavy duty truck, I'd check one out. That is gonna sum things up with our video on this 2021 Ford F350 King Ranch. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford for giving me some time with this King Ranch. Check out their inventory in the link below. I will see all of you in that next video.